Yeah, that is. It's me, Just Blake, as you well know. How are you? Um, yeah, I've just been working on a lot of art, working on this painting. It feels good. They're doing construction. It's just crazy noises, but I feel good about it. It's really like growing and like becoming this kind of fun, but like crazy painting. And like, I feel like it's like the right time of the year to just make a crazy painting. Yeah, I don't really know what amount of craziness these people are up to, but it's a lot. But the cats don't seem to care, so it's kind of interesting. Right, Mouch? You don't care. You're just like, whatever. These are these things that happen. Mom is a little more concerned. But he's my my little special boy, so you know he has those. Moments. They are just you know, they're condo cats, so they hear noises all the time, with all these crazy things going on. So just trying to get stuff going, working on some work, trying to keep things moving as they were. <laughs> but it feels good. I'm happy with it. See, so I just figured I'd draw a little, mm -hmm. work on some patterns, some textures. See what I can come up with, you know? Just repeat a few patterns that I've been doing in the last couple of months. See if they inspire any work from it. I think like the tiles are really kind of interesting. Like, you just kind of have to just go for it. You have to be willing to like make stuff and decide whether it's good or bad afterwards. I think the big mistake that a lot of artists do is they try and figure out whether something's enjoyable while they're in the middle of making it. And for me, that simply doesn't work because like, art feels so subjective while you're making it. And so I try to separate myself a little from it while I'm doing it. If that makes any sense to the rest of you, I don't know. But it feels like the right way to go. For me and For me and figure out what works, what doesn't work, what mistakes are valid mistakes versus like mistakes that you need to start over from. I'm yet to really run across any in, in the last decade or so that have been ones that I needed to start over from. Everything seems to be kind of workable and have more kind of a forgiving aspect to it nowadays far as myself goes, because like I feel confident in my mistakes, but like they give me new opportunities to make work, and so, you know, you gotta just go for it sometimes, you gotta see the mistake, and then try and see past it, you know, just let it kind of breathe and be one with your breath. It just has these micro qualities to it that are important to me. Decision is to just go for it, 
regardless of like all the extra kind of doubts and second thoughts. Cause like in all honesty, like what's the worst that can happen? It's a tiny little square, a tile if you will, of an idea. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. So yeah, I've been playing this game called Tunic, actually. It's like a weird little Zelda type of clone. Uh, little fox. Get all the cool little stuff. Yeah, it's got a sword. I don't know what it was. Oh, crap. <clears throat> Gotta love how you accidentally press the wrong button and throw like one of your big weapons. It's actually pretty good. I'm sure Nintendo hates that anyone puts this up, but I know this isn't originally a Nintendo game. But it's just very beautiful. You know? And just see what this crazy enemy looks like. Look at this thing. It's a mess. Like, what? 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 <laughs> Come on, man. That's nuts. So, I'm making some soup for the day. I got my white beans. I gotta let them soak for another 52 minutes. I got all my vegetables going. I'm gonna blend those at some point. But uh, yeah, I like it. It's cool. Sometimes you just kind of gotta, you know, make something hearty for the winter. I always think like that's kind of the best thing. Like when we eventually, when we sell this place and we get a house and we have all that stuff, I wanna have a, the kitchen near the studio so I can just make stuff and be able to run back and just grab stuff. Also, very cool gift Alec got me. Big old thing of Posca markers. I'm so excited to use these. Thank you, Posca, for making these. So many Posca markers. So many Posca. Oh, the tones. Mochi's merch. Also merch. In 2003, I was climbing a scaffold and I fell and broke my neck in two places. They were tiny little breaks, so I didn't get surgery or anything. But it gave me problems for a long time. It's weird to like look at scaffolding now and remember the sound that went off in my head. Kind of sounded like crisp celery cracking.